A family of four doesn't need that many radishes, especially when the only person in your family who likes radishes is you. So I'm going to plant radishes very sparsely, and the way I'm going to do it is actually mix them in with my beets. Beets take a really long time to germinate, and it can be really challenging if you have to do an early cultivation, sometimes even before the beets are up. That's going to be the case for me this year. This section of open garden right outside the small hoop house that I fixed the other day is actually going to be one of the most challenging sections to keep on top of this year because there was so much weed, weed pressure here in this plot last year. So there were a lot of weed seeds that uh, matured and were dropped in this spot and I'm going to have to stay on top of this so I may actually have to cultivate before the beets actually emerge. And one of the things that's nice about combining beets and radishes, if you put them in the same row, radishes germinate very quickly. So it'll be very easy to see where the beet rows are because there'll be radishes there. The other advantage to that is radishes grow quickly, so I'll be able to pull those, and when I pull the radishes out to consume them in the kitchen, that will make space for the beets to grow. So it's a great pairing. I am gonna have to cover them with row cover because we have pretty bad flea beetles around here. I think that's actually true pretty much everywhere in Maine. And flea beetles will just destroy the radish greens. the fact that I have a six row cedar because I was a commercial farmer. To be honest, I don't know how long it would take to pay back that investment on a homestead scale. They cost a lot. That said, my experience has shown it's much more efficient to have the right tool for certain projects, even though it can seem too expensive. Sometimes, fortunately, the right tool is a pair of hands. Another experiment this year is combining salad turnips with zucchini. Salad turnips are like radishes in two ways. First, they germinate and grow very quickly. Second, they require row cover to combat flea beetles. I'm going to broadcast a few Hakurai turnip seeds around these zucchini plants because I need to cover the zucchini anyway, and there's a lot of open space around them until they bush out, which will happen just about when the turnips are pulled. We'll see how it works. The kale and the Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and all the other brassicas look like they're doing pretty well. But there's also a lot of weeds sprouting under here. Huh. Some beans coming up, that's weird. At any rate, I'm going to hit this really quickly with uh, my syrupo. And uh, then I'm going to compost this. It's supposed to, we're supposed to get some thunderstorms tonight, possibly some rain tomorrow. So this is a great time to compost. The water will push some of those nutrients down into the soil but it's also a critical time to get rid of these little tiny weeds before they get too much of a foothold and with the rain coming I won't be able to cultivate as efficiently when the soil is moist so I'm going to do it now and try to beat, uh, beat the thunderstorms.
Over the years, I've developed a theory about what it takes to garden successfully. The first is time. This is best exemplified by one of my favorite farming quotes, most often attributed as an ancient Chinese proverb. Quote, the best fertilizer is the footsteps of the farmer. The second, and it may actually be more important than time, is mulch. Mulch solves a host of problems. If you're using organic matter, it adds that to your soil, thus also increasing tilth, moisture, and nutrient holding capacity. It looks nice, at least a lot nicer than weeds, and it prevents those weeds from sprouting. It keeps the soil cool, it prevents erosion, and the drying of that soil. The list goes on. I'm particularly fond of leaves, hay, and grass clippings, as well as ramiel wood chips because I have access to nearly unlimited supplies of each of those items. And now, as the light fades and the impending thunder approaches, I'm going to gather more mulch while the gathering is good. 